Okay, Parento's turn to serve. Not a very good drop there. Let's back this one up and take a look. Short serve, deep ball once again. Because Todd likes to be right on this line, she keeps having to back up to hit these drops, which makes her, once again, as we talked about before, look at that left foot kind of jump drop. This is the number one issue that you're going to see over and over again when you see people do kind of the jump drop is it floats high and people get to smash it on you. And so if there's something to take away from this clip, it is, one, don't be so close to the line for your third. Be a little bit further off of it in case they hit deep so that you can still come forward. you got to wait anyway, right? you got to let it bounce. So why are you so close and then having to move back? Okay. Parento actually this time does stop where she should at zone two. For those of you watching one of our clips for the first time, I'm just going to explain what zone two is. So we like to keep things simple here. We got baseline is number one. Middle right here is number two. She's passed it just slightly. And the kitchen is number three. And you shouldn't, when you're going up, you want to be one zone away from your partner, but you never want to be more than one zone away from your partner. And the reason is to only go to zone two and then stop and wait. So Prento's making her way up. She's not waiting for her teammate. She's getting to zone two and then going to get down and ready. The issue is she needs to be down and ready here already, and she overran zone two, as we saw. So once you're overrunning zone two what are you doing you're now backpedaling couldn't get that ball a shocking thing about this is i'm not going to say it's exactly perfect but if we said that this was the mid the middle of that court man that ball went right to it and so if her feet had been there instead of where she went let's see where she gets to instead of just past it and then she has to come back she could have dealt with that ball easier and most likely gotten it so yes the mistake is on this bad technique and the floaty lob but the point really actually dies because Prento, being a little overly aggressive is trying to go past zone two instead of going to zone two stopping and waiting for a partner and also seeing if it's a good drop or a bad drop so that then she can progress. The one great thing is if you get to zone two and you get down crouched and ready, you can still attack on a shake and bake from the tip of zone two. You just have to be already down, ready to spring into action, and then you're able to move forward towards that ball. So a couple mistakes there that make this point end rather early. Um, the biggest thing I hope you guys take away from this clip specifically is you do not want to be where Todd is on the, like there is no reason to be a millimeter behind the baseline waiting to see what's going to happen on your return. You want to have fewer decisions. The one th You want to stand someplace where the only decision you have to make is going forward waiting on a third shot. Maybe you got to do a little bit of an angle. But there is no this direction. Where you are standing, you should never be, I have to go this direction. So the ball should be able to literally bounce on the baseline right here. The ball bounced right there. You should still be able to impact this ball moving forward and coming towards uh, the kitchen. And that just isn't happening for Todd. Parento's doing a great job of seeing, okay, that ball's going to Todd. My job is to move forward, and she's doing a good job moving forward, just moving a little too far forward. That may be an issue with just their um, the number of times they've gotten a chance to play together. Okay, let's move on to the next one.